your situation there? Yeah, I mean, there's some some differences, but at the end of the day, I think they're going to stick within their system. It's hard to get better than the system. I'm sure they'll have some wrinkles. Uh, they'll see some things off tape that they want to, they want to take advantage of the bus, just like you do in any game. But I don't think they're going to bet. Uh, you know, there there's some similarities. Three three is really an explosive runner. But if you let him, he can throw your hurt with his arm too. Uh, four can really throw the ball, but he's the same way. You let him beat you with his feet. How do you get across to your guys not to pay attention to their record and the fact that if they beat you guys in a rivalry game, it you know, almost saves your season? Well, bottom line, it's, it is a rivalry game. And, you know, we just want to be the best us. And, you know, we play our most disciplined football at the end of the year and, uh, you know, play with our standard. Soup sounded pretty aggravated about the long drives yesterday. But what was keeping you off from getting off the field? I mean, a, a lot of uh, nagging yardage on uh, first down, where it was second and four, second and three. You know, not necessarily always a bunch of explosive plays, but just nagging yardage. Is there anybody or a couple of guys that really come on at the end of the year, young guys who you really been impressed with? Them? You know, uh, Square had a couple big plays the other day against Middle. Uh, he's played well. Uh, Ty Asian at times in third down has come in and done some good things. Uh, Chris Oates has grown through the season. You know, uh, Quentin Bohan is back healthy, and he's he was really disruptive last week. So those are some guys that stick out in my mind. Some your corners behind those three seniors. Yeah, I mean, I think they're growing every practice. Are they just where those three seniors are? No, you know, but that's that's to be expected. That you know, yeah. Do you expect to use this game to find out more more about who those younger guys, you know, where they sit on the depth chart? Or? No, I haven't thought about that at all. I'll be honest with you, we're, we're just going into the game again, like you approach, you know, trying to win a game. You know, you're not necessarily. Thinking about those, that part of. How much more credit could you've gotten out of that defensive line vertically? Is it what you wanted at the beginning of the season where you talked about just them being disruptive? Yeah, and I think they've been better. You know, there's times where we played better than others. Um, and, and we're going to have to continue to do that here in the next two weeks. So it, it starts with generating some TFLs and put them on the move. And then when we're not moving, just being stout and playing our primary. Where have you seen the biggest growth from that group? I think just consistency. You know, um, last year I think we were consistently inconsistent. And uh, this year I think we're, we're more consistent with that group. Is anybody who's sort of emerged as a leader in that group? Is it Clinton? Is it, is it uh, Q's, I, I'd say Q. Calvin Taylor's done some really good things too. You know, those are two that stick out in my mind. TJ's played well the last couple of weeks as well. Very we good. Thanks. Oh, sure. sure. Okay. Jordan Jones, can you just talk about what kind of season he's had, especially from a maturity standpoint? I mean, obviously last year in this game against the Little Bull, you had the personal fouls. Sure. This year there hasn't been that. What, what, what's been the difference with him? I think he's just grown up a little bit, you know, and he's just playing more discipline. And I think he realizes, too, how much that hurts the team and hurts himself. Are you all keeping an eye on kind of his behavior going into the Louisville game just because there were times, especially in Tennessee, where he maybe talked after plays or something like that? Do you all? Yeah, and we, I mean, we want to, that's a, that's a point of emphasis for our whole team. We want to play disciplined football. And it, that's no different than any week. I mean, selfish penalties will get you beat. <laughs> Last year. Man, I'm trying to bait him. You know, and I think that's probably the MO every week with him. I'm sure, you know, people in our conference know that too. You know, so I don't, I don't think the approach on playing disciplined football changes week to week. I don't think just because you're not enough to play a rival. You know, when we take the field, we got a standard of wanting to play disciplined every week. Very good.